These days, it's not enough for a new building to be new, it has to be the biggest. For instance, one Boca place. With 283,000 square feet of space, it's supposed to be the biggest commercial building in Boca Raton when it's finished. Now this is the lobby of one Boca place. It's about 56 feet tall. But you ever wonder why they make lobbies this tall? Well, one reason is for the tall sculptures they put in here. Like this sculpture, 42 feet tall, eight and a half tons of steel. It's so big, in fact, it had to be lowered into the lobby by crane before they could even finish the roof. And yes, it too holds a big record as the tallest indoor sculpture in the state of Florida. But then its world-famous artist is used to coming up with monumental designs for monumental spaces. Like in the Renaissance, I think the artist must each time work in relation with the environment. And that's important. And the name of his latest giant masterpiece? There is none. Robert rarely puts a name to his art. Rather, he leaves that to the eye of the beholder, like those who beheld it here, the plumbers, electricians, and construction workers. What would you name the sculpture? Oh, the popular term right now seems to be Titanic. Well, why do you say that? It looks like something you'd find on the bottom of the ocean floor. I'd call it uh, the forward pass. Why is that? It looks like something that would you'd see at a football stadium or something like that. Bird of paradise or something? What does it look like? How would you describe it? Well, I ain't never seen nothing like it, really. It's called a modern art. That's about it. You know, I wouldn't know what to call it. Piece I think like we could probably build something similar out of plumbing pipe. Like I say, art is in the eye of the beholder. John Holden, News 4.